Here's my first further maths exam. In it, I got a C. So it's safe to say I was struggling a lot when I first started further maths. However, by the end, I was able to secure the A star. And today I'll be sharing my tips and tricks that helped me to secure my A star. The first thing about further maths is that the exams require a much deeper understanding of the content as opposed to A-level maths. So you need to understand the content very well. My advice for this is to make a checklist of all the topics that you need to know for further maths. Then for each topic, do the practice questions and mix exercise questions from your textbook. And you're going to keep doing these questions until you are consistently getting them right. Then you can feel assured that you have understood that topic. Then you just rinse and repeat for all the other topics. Now, further maths topics vary significantly in difficulty. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't spend the same amount of time on each topic. Instead, you should spend more time on the topics you find more difficult and less time on the topics you find easier. For example, I found roots of polynomials quite straightforward, so I barely spent any time when it, come to when it came to revising for that. However, something like vectors, I found much more challenging, so I had to put more time into revising for vectors so that I can understand the topic properly. So just find out what your strengths and weaknesses are when it comes to topics and re revise accordingly. And just know it's completely normal to struggle with further maths. After all, it is one of the most difficult A-levels, so you should always try to seek help when needed. One way to get help would be through tutoring. A tutor can help massively in filling gaps in your knowledge. They can also help explain co difficult concepts clearly and they just help boost your overall confidence on the subject. By the way, I offer tutoring for further math, so if you're interested, just contact the number shown on the screen. By the way, the first 30 minute session is free so that you can decide whether you want to continue tutoring with me or not. Now, alternatives to a tutor would be to A, either ask your teachers any questions you have, or B, you can search on YouTube as there are many great videos explaining different further maths topics. Once you feel relatively confident on the individual topics, you should now move on to past papers as this is where the real challenge lies. Now, something very important to mention is that you should do these past papers or at least some of them in full exam conditions. This is because further maths exams have a much tighter timing than A-level maths exams. You only get 90 minutes in the exam, which really isn't a lot when you take into account all the algebra and complex thinking that you have to do in the exam. So make sure you time yourself whilst doing the past papers. This helps improve your accuracy and speed because you really would not want to run out of time in the, ex in the real exam. You want to reach a point where you are not only getting the questions correct, but you are also doing them at a fast enough pace. After doing each past paper, you should always mark them. This step can really improve your ability. After marking each paper, you want to look exactly at where you lost marks and find out the reason for losing those marks. Was it A, a lack of understanding? Was it B, just silly mistakes? Or was it C, there was a clever trick that you didn't spot? Whatever reason it was, make sure you work on fixing that issue. If it was a lack of understanding on a topic, then go back to the textbook and do questions on that topic until you feel confident on it again. If you notice a question required a trick that you didn't spot when doing the exam, then make a note of this trick so that you know if it appears again. This is because exam papers tend to recycle these clever tricks, so make sure you know all the tricks, even if they seemed very difficult at first glance. Here's my biggest advice to improve your speed whilst also minimizing those silly errors. It's using this, your calculator. This is because you can actually use your calculator to check your answers for many types of questions. For example, hyperbolic equation questions, integration questions, and many more. And if you have a graphing calculator, then good news is you can check even more answers to questions. You just need to know how to utilize your calculator fully. I've actually made a video showing these calculator tricks. So if you'd like to watch it, should be, there should be a link on the screen right now. So if you follow all these steps and most importantly, put the effort in, then you should have a very good chance of getting the top grades. This is because further maths is a very rewarding subject in the sense that if you put in the effort, you are going to return with the highest grades. This is because further maths is a very rewarding subject in the sense that if you put in the effort, then you are going to succeed in it. In 2024, 
58% of students doing A-level further maths got a grade A and above. This is by far the highest out of any A-level subject. So I believe you can be a part of that 58% as long as you put in the hard work. Anyway, that's everything I had to say. Thanks for watching.